Yeah, it's Sean here. Hey, I want to make a quick video here. Yes, this is the Glock 19. I'm one of those guys now. I'm officially a Glock fanboy. <laughs> Just kidding. I um, I only hold like a couple hundred bucks on, the, on my Glock 19 on layaway. And um, I went ahead, I broke down that Taurus 740 I had. Yeah, um, I I sold that to get this. Um, well worth it, you know. I like, the, I, like the, I like the Taurus and I like the 40 caliber round, um, but um, I think if I'm going to get a... Um, if I'm gonna get a 40 a gun chamber and 40 Smith and Wesson, it's gonna be in a full size version because that little that little compact gun kicked the hell out of my hand. I mean, I could handle I could handle the gun, but it was just a bit much. And for 20 bucks a box for a 40 Smith and Wesson, I was like, you know what? I really want this Glock 19 right now, and I can always pick up a 40 a gun chamber and 40 Smith and Wesson later on. Preferably, definitely a full a full size gun. Um, but anyways. This is the Glock 19. Not going to go into specs because there is a kabillion, kazillion Glock 19 videos out there on YouTube land. But this is my Glock 19. I tell you what, this gun was made. I was I was checking it out to see how old it was because there's very, very little wear on this thing at all. If any, there's, I can tell this gun's probably been fired a few times, even the guy at the gun shop, because there's very, very little wear on the barrel where you can tell... Most guns that have been shot a lot, you know, hit the kind of the top of the barrel kind of gets shined up a bit, and none of that on this. So I pretty much get a brand new gun for like four hundred fifty bucks. But obviously, I didn't pay that. I didn't pay that because I I used my MP9 compact for a deposit on this, and plus the Taurus 740. So in all in all reality, I've only really paid out of my own pocket maybe a couple hundred bucks, you know. So um, yep. Well worth it. I'm happy with this gun. This is a gun I can I can I can do a lot with. You know, I can get lights on. I can get a, I can attach a light onto here. Um, I, I have a holster that fits this already. One of my Galco one of my Galco um, tuck and goes fits the Glock 19 perfectly. So I've got a holster for that. Got plenty of nine millimeter ammo. Um, so um, well well worth it. I am very happy with this gun. This is I'm, I have this, I have, I'm having that feeling right now when I get my AR. You know, just a static. Right now, um, it came with two mags, so I picked up another mag at the gun shop there. He has a whole bin full of used mags for like twenty bucks, so he he cut 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 the price down to like fifteen bucks or whatever it was, and took it out to the to uh, the woods real quick to put a box of uh, shells through it. Fired awesomely, of course. But yep, the Glock 19 is now on this channel here. So now I just got the two handguns. So that's fine. I'm gonna pick up something else later later on down the road. I just didn't want to have to shell another couple hundred bucks on this thing, then be in a financial pickle two weeks from now, kicking myself in the butt and having to sell and having to sell a gun anyway. So I just went ahead and did did that, and um, I got what I really wanted, which was the Glock 19 anyway. So this is this is the gun I've been wanting for a long time since I since I bought my first handgun, the Smith and Wesson. Um, what was my first one? The um, the SD9 VE, which which was a good gun. I prefer. I wanted the Glock 19, but that was during the um, right around Sandy Hook, so um, they didn't have any Glocks obviously at the time. And then when I um, when I got my M M P9 compact, I settled for the M P because they had no Glock 26s or Glock 19s there. So I settled for the M P, which the M P was fine, but I like the Glock. You know, it's just something about the Glock. The availability is out there. There's tons of magazines out there. With the M&Ps, I had to search for, for magazines, and holsters aren't as plentiful. Whenever I go into Cabela's, there's tons of holsters for Glocks, you know, tons of magazines for Glocks. You look for Smith & Wesson M&Ps, forget it sometimes, you know, it's, it's catch and miss. So, um, and I plus I can find lights and lights attachments for these so much better. This this. The Glock could have served me a whole lot better, so um, I can definitely see why there's a lot of Glock fanboys out there. Um, I think I'm think I'm going to become one of them. <laughs> but I mean, I pretty much got a brand new gun for two hundred dollars cheaper than a brand new one goes for. So this thing, this gun was made in. Um, uh, this is the factory date was ten twenty three thirteen. So um, it's pretty much a brand new gun. You know, I think the gun's probably only been fired a handful of times. So. But anyways, this is my Glock 19, and appreciate you guys watching. As always, be safe.